Hi, this is Focus Biology and I am Barun Prabhat. I am going to discuss here the brains of amphibians, reptiles and birds. Why my lecture? In my lecture you will find every point is dealt with a clear diagram and again there is a synchronization between sound and cursor which gives you a better concentration clear voice for better understanding after this lecture you have fair concept of the topic sharp understanding of the topic and tricks to remember difficult concepts. This is lecture outline. We will discuss first amphibian brain followed by reptilian brain and in the end we will discuss avian brain. Now amphibian brain. This is the structure of amphibian brain. Here you can see olfactory lobes are smaller. This one is olfactory lobes are smaller. Optic lobes are larger. This one. This one is optic lobes. These are larger. Corpus striatum or paleoestriatum, it is floor of cerebrum. It receives a large number of sensory fibers from thalamus, that is diencephalon. Cerebral hemispheres more developed. This one is cerebrum or cerebral hemispheres. Optic lobes are dominant coordinating center. These are optic lobes. These are two in number. In amphibians, these are prominent coordinating centers. Midbrain has a narrow passage which is called aqueduct. And as you see here, this is cerebellum. It is poorly developed in amphibians and medulla is also a smaller. Here it is medulla is also a smaller. Now reptilian brain. Here you can see telencephalon is the largest part of the brain. This one is the region of telencephalon. As you know, telencephalon is called cerebral hemisphere or cerebrum. Here two olfactory lobes are larger than amphibians. And this one is olfactory bulb. It receives nerves from organ of Jacobson, right? Through vomero nasal nerve. And parietal eye or parapineal body is still present in Sphenodon and some modern lizards. But in most of the reptiles, it is either vestigial or absent. And a pair of auditory lobes are also found in some reptiles which is posterior to optic lobes. Auditory lobes are solid. Cerebellum is a bit pear shaped. Here, this one is cerebellum. It is a little pear shaped. 
but larger than in amphibians. Now, here is avian brains. You can see the brain of birds are proportionately larger than that of reptile and is short and broad. Here, these are the brain of sorry this is the brain of pigeon which is a bird it is short and broad here olfactory lobes are smaller this one olfactory bulbs here it will be olfactory lobes as there is poor development of sensory or a smell or organ for sensing the smell cerebrum this one it is larger right but a smooth cerebrum is a smooth and project posteriorly over diencephalon actually it covers the diencephalon Pallium, again it is thin, but corpus striatum is greatly enlarged. Pallium is the is found in cerebral hemisphere or cerebrum. Here lies corpus striatum. Diacil, it is a narrow due to the enormous size of thalami and optic lobes are well developed here this one is the optic lobe it is well developed because eyesight is greater in birds but it is laterally displaced cerebellum again greatly enlarged with several superficial folds which are called flocky